Here's the news you're waking up to in batshit bonkers Britain, where it's been decided by a museum that we're going to send back the gold that we nicked back to Ghana. We nicked it in 1874 and now we're going to loan it back. What we've done is a remarkable thing of making everybody equally unhappy. So the museum is unhappy because it's concerned that if it sends gold back to Ghana, it may never see that gold again. The Ghanaian people are unhappy because they say, how can you loan back something that you stole from us in the first place? And the reparations massive are unhappy because they're always unhappy. Everything is definitely racist. And unless we're forking out millions of quid to the grandchildren of people that we never met or did any harm to, then we're definitely white supremacists or something. Either way, everybody's unhappy and that's seen as a win. In other news, over in Australia, in Melbourne, a statue of Captain Cook has been sawn off at the ankles with some vandalism and graffiti going on. That's the Wokarati, the leftist of Melbourne, making a statement ahead of Australia Day tomorrow, the 26th of January. They call Australia Day Invasion Day, despite the fact that 60% of decent Australians still rather like to have a bit of a laugh, have a few beers, a few sausages and celebrate something, you know, just for the funsies. Let's bear in mind that the people of Melbourne were very happy to live under dictator Dan Andrews during lockdown. And those individuals were locked down harder than a blooming donut at a Weight Watchers convention. I mean, really, they call the British people tyrants and invaders, but they can't see when they have one lurking in plain sight, although he has been got rid of of late. And then finally, General Sir Patrick Saunders says that we need a citizen army here in the UK. <laughs> yes, all respect, but good luck with that, sir. Seeing what you've done to real men in this country, your government that you took uh, your orders from have done to real men here. And then you think you're going to build yourself an army with what remains. I mean, please. You put decent British men to the back of the line, make them feel that they can't apply for a job, make them feel that they're not worthy of promotion, tell them that the only thing that matters is diversity. And you expect to build a citizen army out of these small boys that, you know, cry at the first sign of a cold, can't tell you what a woman is, and the only thing they've ever used their hands for is either to apply moisturiser or makeup or lube. So, you know, sir, as someone who's been through the Royal Military Academy, Santos, and who is bayonet trained, I wish you all the best with that citizen army because it's going to look like a very sorry state of affairs. Dad's army will start to look like the SAS by comparison. Anyway, that's the news you're waking up to today here in Batshit Bonkers Britain.